possibly yeah. can. But on the day-to-day -day level, it's a pretty cool color. We get, we get beat up, we get stitches, we get bruised and dirty. I think um, they call that getting her done. <laughs> exactly. yeah. uh, and then that's uh, juxtaposed with coming to a place like Comic-Con where all of us have been getting accosted in the best way possible <laughs> by people with big headdresses and boobs and <laughs> all sorts of things. It's amazing. This is boobs. <laughs> the, the ones that I saw. <laughs> Carrie, what's it been like for you? I mean, it's Comic Con. I mean, what, what did you imagine before you before you came to a con? Uh, well, this is amazing. I, I had no idea what I was in for. I don't think I've had this many cameras pointed at me in my entire life. <laughs> but I'm loving it. I, I love the costumes. I, I love just everything about this. It's yeah. Fun. Tori, you, you got, you've, been, you've been before. You know, it's like we, we were here last year, and it's like you're in the shop, you're like working your butt off, you're sweaty, you're dirty, and you look around and you're like, what are we doing this for? And then you come here and it's like we get instant feedback. It's like because of you guys, this is why we do it. And it's so nice to come here and see the fans and see what we're doing is making a difference. Uh, how, how many cons have you been to at this point? I, I think actually, Jamie would like to tell you this answer by singing the song, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, listen, if there's any consolation, I would prefer the answer in song if Jamie kind of intends to tell me song. Feeling, Jamie. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a rap. <laughs> <laughs> the world's shortest song. I mean, Take it to the bridge. Has anyone come up to you and been like, this guy's got the best Jamie Heineman costume on? <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of hard to miss. <laughs> um, well, you know, it, it's been great being on Mythbusters. We're, uh, we're, uh, I'm still having a hard time acknowledging the fact that we're on television. I try to ignore it as much as I can. I actually, do more than that. You refuse to let the cameras film you a good portion of that time. <laughs> but it seems to be working for us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did you, you know, you're starting off in special effects, did it just ever occur to you like, ah, I could, there's a possibility I could be a huge TV star someday? Well, you know, that's the thing about effects work, is you get to try all sorts of different things, and uh, I thought this was one of the most unlikely things that I would ever get to try, and, you know, as it turned out, it, I was wrong. Um, here we are, and, and we're, uh, it, it's, it's like it just started yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, and thankfully, I, I, I don't see any end in sight. I hope you guys do another 35 seasons of oh, the show. Oh, I mean, actually, uh... We have just signed up for uh, at least several more years of the nice. show. The list of stupid shit that people still believe is this long. Are you ever do you ever just sit at home and like wake up in the middle of the night like we're out of bits, we're not we can't do a seven more years, or you really you guys sound rough? No. You just surf the internet, it really works. Think this internet thing's gonna catch on, Grant. Yes. Grant, what are you gonna do when Judd Peterson becomes self-aware and uh, decapitates Craig Ferguson. Uh, what are you gonna do? I'm not sure, you know, um, Robot Uprising is, is one of those scenarios, you know, there are all these scenarios of apocalyptic events that you have to be prepared for. Zombie apocalypse, right. alien invasion. Robot Uprising is just another one of those scenarios, and I've got a toolkit set up. Do you have, I mean, it, it, it is a, it's a valid question. I mean, like, as a robot specialist, do you have any advice for how to handle the uh, robot uprising um, you know, during an attack? Well, um, you know, the EMP hasn't been perfected quite yet. I will let you know. It'll be available online on my website. <laughs> you were going to create the uprising so you can sell the cure. <laughs> Right there. I was actually just reading the other day that someone's built a uh, robot that powers itself by eating food and getting energy from a, a rudimentary digestive system, and I was thinking that's perfect for Jeff Peterson. <laughs> that's, that's, you, you, Jeff Peterson's going to evolve. He's got to evolve. He will, eventually. <laughs> Someday, legs. Um, <laughs> off. Off. Um, what? 
we, we can all. We'll, we'll get to work on that after it's not awkward anymore. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is, it, like, you guys are, you guys are, are, are like royalty at the con. It's insane. And we, we did the Woodstock show together the other night. I mean, you guys, you don't understand. Like, yeah, I was imagining myself as a nerd turning the corner and looking at the green room of Jamie and you and the MST3K guys and Will Wheaton and Veronica Belmont. And I was just like, ah! like I was joking. <laughs> this so, and you guys, are, you guys are royalty. And you, you told this insane story about uh, something that someone made you sign. Uh, yeah, no. Last year, last year we were at the signing table and uh, we, we got out there and there was this huge roar. Uh, and I think largely it was a roar because Jamie stood up on the table and went like this. <laughs> it's just not something you expect to see. And as we were signing, people were bringing up all sorts of things for us to sign, and these people put a baby on the table. <laughs> but he was wearing a onesie that said, it still creeps me out, he was wearing a onesie that said, proof that nerds have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Signed a baby. Area, or is it <laughs> well, yeah, they do. Um, but I, I, I don't know. It, I think Adam gets it a little worse than I do. They're, I think people are sort of afraid of me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Last year I walked the floor in costume and I, I just said I had a great time. And James was like, yeah, I walked the floor. I walked the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, really? Just as you? And he's like, yeah. Do people come up to me? He said, I would see them notice me and I'd go like this. <laughs>